I've been advised to uh, do a video uh, for selling stuff on eBay, so here we go, it's a bit of a special occasion. I've even got my feet out for the occasion. Anyway, um, this is my arcade table that I'm selling. It's an original case. Um, as I say, the original table from the 80s. The legs are original. Uh, I've had them respray, powder coated, should I say. It's not a mark on them. Uh, like I say, yeah, the original case. Um, obviously, the joysticks here are not original. This is something that I've added to um, the arcade. And if you come in low, um, what I've actually got, I've got them on hinges with um, a removable bracket there. So you can actually bend the actual joysticks down if you know you want to save a bit of space and whatever. Uh, the bit of glass on the top uh, isn't the original. I've got new glass on there, not a scratch on it. As you can see, the screen, it's not a standard screen that they usually have. Usually the screens are in them are quite small. But this one is a 19 inch. That's a brand new screen in there. Much better than the old ones. Um, as a lot of main, main um, users do, they use a PC. If you come in a bit, obviously this is just as PC, it's a standard PC, uh, you know, with the just the inners installed into a, a case there. Uh, I did something a little bit different, which I thought was uh, quite practical, is I've actually Velcroed a lot of this stuff in. So like there's a um, power supply, um, so if that goes down you can actually just remove that and replace it with a new one without actually you know, screwing into the wood and damaging the actual case itself. Same with the motherboard, that's velcroed in. And the hard drive there, which is all removable. So it's just a little bit different um, than, say, what like you'd normally see in an arcade. Got the fan there, so a little light on it. Uh, as you can see, I've just pulled the lid up, and this is how we actually play it. Because um, like most games back in the 80s, or whatever, which are on here, um, you know, just Pac-Man, you only need like one button, one stick you didn't really need much of a view but obviously with two players it's hard to both sort of get over the table when it's like that so we've got the bracket on there so you can sit down at a nice height and just play away both of you can fit on there so I'll, that's the actual hardware if you like and now if, I, if you come over I'll show you the software it's uh, custom made by a friend of mine but it is MAME but uh, he's done the whole menu um, front end of it, it's the one of a kind. Uh, he's done all the listing, all set up all nicely, all runs really well. You've got arcade, as you can see, it's on now. Uh, Nintendo, so what you do if you wanted to go into Nint Nintendo, just click on it, it takes you into the Nintendo options. Um, actually, that's the most place I'll come out if I just go into the Nintendo options, and then it gives you the list of games and it gives you the screenshot as well and we've got the, the actual console itself there uh, and it gives you the number of games and the number of games you're on there as well so in this one as you can see there's like 2,600 games in, in just the Nintendo section so if you come out again you go into say Mega Drive or Master System in this case um, again you've got a picture of that and then you've got the screenshot of whatever game it would be in this, the Mars system, it didn't release too many, I didn't think, but you've got 495. Um, most of the games, like, go through, you've got Nintendo, you've got SNES, you've got a Sega 32X, the Game Gear, the Mars system, the Mega Drive, the Sega SG-1000, and the Neo Geo. All of them have got a good amount of games on, but the most, the one with the most games is the arcade. And these arcade games date back to, you know, probably like 30 years or something. And as you can see, there's like 3,000 games in there, just on the arcade. So all together, with all the consoles in the arcade, there's over 12,000 games on there. Um, I'll just let run run, just so you know it works. Uh, go into most played, it keeps a list of all your most played games. Go in, happens to be Street Fighter. As you can see, everything runs quick, everything runs smooth. So just this happens on any arcade it just loads up like this oh one thing I didn't show you if you come down low I've got the speakers again went with the idea with the velcro reason being same sort of reason didn't want to damage the actual case itself but it gives you the option to maybe if you wanted to put them table side or wanted to put them somewhere else and they've got their own volume just on on the actual unit as well um, so going back to the game again just runs you've got your credits on the side 
player one, away you go. And that's pretty much it. Any questions on the arcade, just uh, email me and we'll answer anything you need to know. Thank you.